Ryan, here's a common one. Um, this this one sucks, but I, I just per experience with clients. This happens. So my ex-spouse has 30 convictions, including domestic violence, and it's not being brought up. If you have an attorney, you need a new attorney. Um, if not, you need to you need to kind of stay, take a step back and you need to start educating the judge on what's going on. And it can't be one of those situations. What judges hate is when you throw uh, information at them verbally in a hearing. So if I came into a case and there's a hearing coming up and there's 30 convictions, I'm going to go in and I'm going to draft probably a three to five page declaration and different states call them different things. And I'm going to lay out all of these charges. Your Honor, this is something that hasn't been taken into account. Now, as frustrating as it may seem, the older the charge is, or if you guys have done 50-50 parenting or whatever it may be since that point, the judge may say, hey, you were okay with this before, you can't bring it up now. But if it's something in an ongoing custody case that just isn't getting the attention it needs, you need to start forcing the issue with the judge and drafting those declarations and giving that information to the court. Uh, because just verbally giving it to them um, it is can, can a lot of times be a struggle uh, for them to even want to listen. If you are pro se, I understand it's one of those challenges where uh, judges definitely give attorneys more time to talk. They'll hear me out where they may cut off a pro se litigant. Uh, and if you have an attorney, that's borderline malpractice. That That's something I, I would be shouting from the rooftops that, hey, domestic violence, substance abuse, any of those sorts of issues where you have hard facts that it's occurring, that needs to get to the courts. Um, so I, I would say that if you have an attorney, you need to have a conversation about, hey, we need to put this in writing. If you don't, you need to research your state on how to submit declarations. And every single hearing you go to beforehand, you're submitting a same or similar declaration that's laying out all these criminal matters.